Okay, so this is the new Micro HD and the Micro HD Plus. Uh, it's going to be essentially the same outer camera. Uh, the big difference between them is uh, the size of the memory cards that are involved with them. There are no doors, no O-rings anywhere on this camera, so there's uh, virtually no way to flood the camera system. Uh, completely unique in the underwater photography market, it is a Sea Life exclusive product. This is a Frankenstein. We found a manufacturer of a memory card, and then we found a screen, and then we found a housing, and we assembled all the parts into this camera system. The rubber plug on the bottom slides out, and you will take a USB cable with an adapter on the end of it and plug this in to download the pictures and to charge the camera battery. So that's the only contact with the outside, and it's a wet contact. So it's uh, not going to affect it if there's water inside there. Uh, however, this part is not waterproof, so you don't want to take it underwater, so you just want to put the rubber plug back into it. But that's the extent of the camera. Rinse it off when you're done, let it air dry, dry it off, whatever you want to do. Uh, it is a 13 megapixel camera, and it does shoot 1080p HD video. So we're starting to get into the, the overall realm of, of 1080p. That is at 30 frames per second. We can kick this down to 720 frames or 720 HD video at 60 frames a second, 240 and 120 frames a second. So if you want to start doing your slow motion shots, that's where this will be coming into as well. Uh, being completely self-contained, we do have a three-hour rechargeable battery to it. Uh, it's a continuous use battery also, so if you just keep letting it run, it is going to run for three hours. Uh, 16 gig is on the HD. And that's going to be about 4,000 pictures, roughly three hours of video. The HD Plus is going to be a 32 gig internal hard drive, 8,000 pictures, roughly six hours of video, but it includes Wi-Fi. So if you have an iOS device or an Android device, you can hook this up. This will become a hotspot for that device. You download an, an application, uh, an app from the, the web, the cloud, whatever it is out there, and uh, you can actually transfer all of your pictures onto your iOS or Android device through the cloud. In addition to that, you can take control of the camera. You can leave this setting up over uh, on a chair, table, anything else. From up to 200 feet away, I can take control of my camera from my iPad and take pictures or start videos or anything else with it. It's pretty cool. Um, it just has three buttons on the back. The power button, I, I'm not able to fire this up and put, hook it up to the TV, so I apologize. Uh, it does have a 2.4 inch screen, so it's a little bit smaller than the uh, DC-1400, but it still has the dive and snorkel mode. Uh, one of the issues with the camera is it does not trigger a stroke, and so it is reliant on one or two photo video lights. Uh, so that's not a problem, we can just hook that up again through the easy setup mode. What's really neat about this also, if we want to shoot a video, all we do is just hit the video button. As soon as we hit the button, it starts to record. If we want to take a still, we do hit the shutter button up on top, and it will capture a 2 megapixel still picture outside of the video. It doesn't interfere with the video, but you've captured a separate image while you're shooting video as well. Um, very small, very compact. It does have a 140 degree angle lens to it, so it's a bigger uh, angle of acceptance than the DC-1400 with the fisheye to it. Um, this is really starting to get into the part where people are shooting more videos. Uh, the, the more serious shooter is going to be leaning towards the strobe in the DC-1400, but the video shooters are going to be looking for this type of an action cam. Uh, this is going to be a, 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 our answer to the GoPros. Uh, in order to get a GoPro to do what this camera can do right out of the box, I figured it out this morning, you would spend $328.76 worth of accessories to get a GoPro to do what this camera is capable of doing right out of the box. So it's a very nice, compact, easy to use system. Point and shoot, there's no autofocus to it. Uh, depth of field is one foot out to infinity. And I just got an email today, we've come up with an adapter ring. It's a 10 times magnification that just clips onto the front of the camera and will allow you to a close focus down to six inches out to two feet. So we are gonna be able to start doing a little bit closer macro work as well. Um, 16 gig version of this, the HD, is going to retail for 399 
and 499 for the HD Plus that has 32 gigs and the Wi-Fi capabilities to it. Yes. How long is battery life? Uh, right now we're probably looking about five to six thousand charge cycles. Uh, we haven't had it long enough to really figure out how long the batteries are going to last. And then that, that's basically it then for the camera, right? Right. I'm sure there will be some type of a program if the battery starts to uh, diminish over years of use or anything else, Sea Life will have some type of a program to replace the battery. But right now, it's just so new, it's been out on the market. We started shipping this in early November, and uh, I don't think we've used one to the point to find out how bad the battery takes before it stops performing well. So, you, can you take pictures with it? Yes, certainly. Yeah. So, no, it no. Oh, yeah, it's uh, 13 megapixel, oh, okay. and then you can step that down as well. Yes. Will the original Sea Life flash and video lights work with the, the new HD camera? Uh, not the not the flash, not because the flash. there's no onboard flash to trigger the strobe. Mostly, and so yeah. it is reliant on photo video lights. Okay. But at any point, you can either hook up one photo video light, or you can get the double Sea Dragon tray and put a photo video light here, a photo video light here, and the micro right in the middle of it, and away you go. That's you can, if you can uh, That's use this Tinker Toy system and a rector set and just do whatever, whatever you want whenever you want to. What some people are able to do too is we have what's called a cold shoe mount up on top. I just set up. Take a Sea Dragon mount to this, put your micro right up on top of this, you're taking your stills with your DC 1400 and you're running full-time video with the, with the micro up on top. Uh, not to badmouth the uh, GoPro too, too badly, but uh, with the GoPros they don't have screens on them. And so you're kind of at the mercy of where you think you're aiming at. Sometimes you've got it tilted sideways and you forget about it and you're doing one of these. And, uh, yeah. By having the screens on the back, that's a huge, uh, huge benefit to the camera systems. Uh, towards that end, we do have some very, very popular, uh, very popular accessories called the Aquapods, and uh, this one actually does come with a GoPro mount. It also comes with a quarter twenty screw, so you can put a micro up on top here. You can put a GoPro. You can put Monica's, uh, any other types of cameras you want. Uh, biggest thing first off, anybody doing selfies? The newest words to the Webster Dictionary. This has a reflective surface on the side of it. So instead of doing this, and I look like I'm ridiculous, I have seven shins. You just hold this out at arm's length and you look in the mirror to see if you're in the picture. <laughs> if you want to get a close-up personal picture of that lionfish, but you don't want to get stung, or you don't want to stick your hand into a moray eel, I'm able to extend this out to 53 inches come in with the, cam with the uh, camera either in a spy mode, uh, time-lapse photography setting, or video, get nice enough close with my subject and not get um, bit or stung by anything. We do offer the Aquapod. We also offer what's called the Sea Dragon Mini 600 Lite. And anybody remember the old light cans? The big mama Java from the days, early days of diving. Took eight C-cell batteries. They were about 14 pounds. They had a burn time of about two hours. Uh, we measured the, the output in watts. It was a 40 watt light. It was this big, powerful monster. What it actually was is a wattage is a unit of consumption of power. And now we've kind of standardized everything by calling it a lumen, which is an output of power. So this little light puts out 600 lumens. A light cannon put out 485 lumens and was a weight integrated dive light. So that's the same as the it. original video light, sea light video light? Yeah. Is this original one 600? Uh, it was five, 500. 500? Yeah. But uh, this is pretty cool. For $130, this is going to come with the YS mount. It's going to come with the GoPro adapter. You can put a GoPro directly on top of this. It's going to come with the cold shoe adapter for the DC uh, 1400 or the DC series. But this is just going to be a twist on. And again, that is a huge burn pattern to it with a little bit of haloing around the outside, but overall very, very clean. And this is a full 600 lumens. Now it takes uh, CR123 batteries. It would be uh, two batteries that are going to burn for about 70 minutes at full power. Or we have rechargeable batteries that will burn for about 100 minutes. We can also turn this off and turn it back on into a power saving 240 lumens. So between the two of them, this will burn for six hours, that will burn for about 70 minutes. 
you have that adjustability of going back and forth between the two different power settings as well. So if you just need a little bit of fill-in light, you can do this. Come in, get up close and personal, come back out, not overexpose your pictures. Uh, the aquapods are the number six selling SKU in the entire Sea Life line. When they first came to us and said, how many do you think we can sell? I gave them a yearly forecast and that's about how many I sell a month. It's very, very popular. Uh, towards that end, with cameras getting smaller and smaller, we're getting smaller and smaller with our mini aquapods. And these are going to extend out to, I believe it's 38 inches, but extremely lightweight, very versatile, and uh, gives you the opportunity to either mount a GoPro or a standard camera with it as well. Do you have any type of, <coughs> you're shooting with that thing out on the end, do you have any type of remote control? No, it's all uh, based on camera, either video or so spy you, mode or something you like that. shoot a video, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's no remote control to it at all. So. Uh, we just introduced this at DEMA and uh, our, our big annual trade show in November and uh, started shipping these. Sell those for? I'm sorry? We sell those for? These retail for $49, the bigger one retails for $60. What? So that's kind of the Reader's Digest version of my life. Is there any questions on lights or cameras? Anything else I can help you with? I think I have them all, except the new one. <laughs>